Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see on the fly database creation and bootstrap initial data for role and user table. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on repositories. We will continue with the Spring Boot Pagination Advanced Repository. Let's download this. Unzip this file. Import this as a Maven project in Spring Source. Click on Finish. Imported successfully. Open Application Properties file. As you can see database name we used is Mighty Java, but in the database, we have not created any database with this name. Let's run and see it's working or not. Obviously, it won't. See what error it will throw. See it's giving error called unknown database Mighty Java, so to skip this exception need to add something after the database name, like create the database if not exist equal to true. Let's run again and see still unknown database error is coming or not. See it's not coming. Server started. Now let's refresh schema. See database created for Mighty Java. See all tables created. But no date available. There is one way we already implemented using SQL file. Now we will implement same using class. Let's create a new class under service implementation package called Bootstrap Data Service. Annotate this class as service. And implement an interface called application listener and change application event to context refreshed event. If you want to learn about application listener, so I already created one video for that, the link is in the description. Now add an implemented method called on application event. So inside this method, we will call two simple methods one for insert role and other for insert user. Now create two private methods as we declared. We will add simple code to save role and user, declare a variable for role repository. Annotate this as auto wired. Add a simple condition so if the role table does not have any data then only execute this code otherwise skip this. And add some kind of code for the user also. For a user repository, we used paging and sorting repository, so instead of find all, we will use user list. We are going to save two roles like admin and user, so create a list and add both role object in the list. So let's add this simple code. That's it for this method. Now let's create one user object and set the default values. Now copy values from SQL file. For the role and we can get it using role repository find one method. And for the password, we will encrypt and save. It's very simple.
That's it for this method. Now drop schema and do it once again. Let's run this. Server started, you can see after starting server executing some queries as well. Let's check data inserted or not. See data inserted successfully. Oops inserted admin toe times. Change it user for the second record. Change it in the object also. Save and it will rerun. See this time insert query is not executing. See it's working as expected. Let's check application is working or not. See it's working fine. So I hope you got the idea, how to set up default data using application listener class. Let's review whatever we added. I already committed code under the same repository. You can find under commit. See changes are here. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.